We're here today to see if the GT Omega Evo XL is an evolution of the gaming chair market. I'm sorry, we can move on now. If you haven't seen our other chair videos, click wherever they are. Intel's new 750 series SSDs utilize the NVMe standard, providing speeds never seen before on consumer storage drives. Click now to learn more. Let's start with the unboxing experience. The GT Omega Evo XL comes in a box that seems, from the outside at least, very similar to the other gaming chairs we've checked out. It's big, brown, and fairly nondescript, outside of a few logos. But when you open it up, a different experience begins. Through the material that they used as a synthetic leather, they have fooled me with the enticing scent that emanates from the box when you start removing pieces. Something that actually took me by surprise when I first saw the back of the chair is that GT Omega took the time to embroider our logo on both the front and back of the chair. Obviously, this isn't going to be a true everyday Evo XL that arrives to customers' doors, and it certainly didn't affect the outcome of the review, but I thought it was a pretty nice touch. As I removed pieces from the box, one thought kept crossing my mind. This chair seems very well built, from the heavy metal bases to the nice feeling leathery, pleathery materials throughout the chair, and the actually soft plastic armrest to the chrome accents on everything. It just felt nice. Now onto my favorite part of the unboxing experience. The vast amount of bolts, other than two of the screws, required to assemble the chair were pre-installed into their holes. This was such a relief, as it meant that I would not be dealing with manufacturing tolerance issues between the holes and the material and the holes in the chair itself as I had in the past. On top of that, all the pre-installed bolts were threaded as thumb screws, making installation a breeze, and they even included the proper Allen keys for each bolt in order to tighten it. So I began the assembly process absolutely tickled pink with the GT Omega Evo XL. The first few segments went off without a major hitch. One note for assembly is that it is much easier to install the top to the bottom joint on the left side of the chair, first as it doesn't carry the hefty tilt mechanism, and you can install the right side first, but I found it much more difficult to line up the holes on that side and the chair itself due to the increased strain on that side from the tilt mechanism. With the left side installed, the right side went in very easily, and I was off to the races in completing the assembly of my new racing chair. But that is unfortunately where the fun stopped. One pretty significant issue with our Evo XL actually didn't come with an instruction sheet. Up until this point, it was no issue. It was pretty much paint by numbers, so to speak. And I was actually enjoying the assembly process, but the lift control base mount thing caused a bit of an issue. Once again, the bolts were pre-installed, but the installation process wasn't entirely clear. The right and left levers for lift located at the bottom of the mechanism are labeled with a very light R and L text to indicate left and right, but the layout doesn't make a ton of sense, which, resulted in us swapping the piece's orientation a few times, and it's kind of frustrating. With the lift control base mount installed, I was able to finish up the rest of the base installation without much trouble, and move on to the finishing touches. Unfortunately though, they did send us two left joint covers. Oh man, the lack of instruction manual was one thing, but the inclusion of two left joint covers rather than a right and a left really disappointed me, as it resulted in the ugly tilt mechanism on the right side of the chair being completely uncovered. GT Omega apologized for the error and overnighted a right joint cover as soon as we informed them, but it doesn't change the fact that it wasn't in the original shipping container. So on to the actual user experience. Overall, I found the chair quite comfortable. The cushions firmly support me while still providing enough to give me a relaxing sitting experience. The armrests are highly adjustable and very close to, if not the same armrests on the Maxnomic chair Linus checked out a few months ago, which you can see here. The chair leans back easily, making it quite solid choice for those who want to kick it and watch a movie or even game stream in front of their PC or somewhere else in addition to gaming, but the chair is Certainly not perfect. And lastly, the wings. I'm personally still not a huge fan of these, as I don't think they make a ton of sense for a very unmoving gaming experience where you're not being jostled around like you would be in a car, which they were designed for. And I find it more restricting than anything else to have them there, especially up high in the shoulders. I have relatively wide shoulders, and I find it quite annoying for them to be 
curved forward. But if this is something you're looking for, I must admit it wasn't all that bad of an implementation and it's not going to make my back sore like other chairs in this category. So, conclusion time. The GT Omega Evo XL is quite honestly the closest one of these gaming chairs that felt like a legitimate racing chair seat from a car. To me, at least. It's comfortable, relatively well built, and seems to be produced with a fairly good manufacturing tolerances with its overall design being pretty well thought out. But for my personal daily driver, I'm not entirely sure. There's this one, there's the Max Nomic, those two are both pretty high up. Or uh, we're still yet to review some of the more comfy couch style poofy chairs, and I don't necessarily think I'm decided yet. What's your favorite gaming chair? Are you the comfy couch style poofy gaming chair fan, or are you more into these racing chairs? Let me know in the comments down below or over on the forum. While you're still here, like, dislike, favorite, subscribe, follow, share, comment, click on related videos, I don't know. Do all the things that you can, and in the shirts link description below this video, check out a shirt that probably won't have minions on it, but we have a whole bunch of cool ones. If you jump over on the forum, I would prefer that you comment there because I'll probably actually read it. And while you're there, check out the support us link. You can do things like changing your Amazon affiliate code or installing the Linus Tech Tips notifier for Chrome or Firefox, which can help you change your Amazon affiliate code and will probably enhance your forum browsing experience. You can also become a contributor which helps us out a lot and you get a cool little badge under your profile while you're posting on the forum if you do that. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.